with all the buildings, it's multi-story. Oh, okay. On the ground floor are workshops and stores. One moment. And on the upper floor are the domestic apartments. Colourful dressed stones frame the windows and the corners of the building. Most impressive, however, are the multiple windows that give light to a very special room on the first floor. All the surfaces okay. were covered with wall paintings related to the sea. Young fishermen proudly displaying their catch, while a frieze above the windows recounts nautical expeditions to far away places. On the other two sides of the room were doors and cupboards which closed with double leaves. They were painted red inside and contained high quality objects. The floor was paved with dark volcanic slabs and the interstices were also painted red. Light and colour prevailed everywhere. Wall paintings adorned the adjacent room as well. Even the jams of the window were decorated. Next to it, secluded by mud brick walls, is an unexpected for the time find, a lavatory. It consists of two built benches placed in a recess of the wall. The gap in between corresponds to a vertical conduit of clay pipes that leads to a pit outside the house, connected to the public sewerage system of the city. Slabs found during the excavation suggest that a kind of siphon may have existed at the bottom of the conduit. now explore the house properly, passing through the entrance door. To the left, a door leads to the workshops and the storage rooms. To the right, a double door controls access to the domestic apartments above. The first room is bright and spacious. This is where weaving took place, as indicated by the numerous loom weights found during excavation. Sails for the boats were also produced here. At the other end of the room, we enter the beautiful apartment with the wall paintings. With so many windows all around, it looks more like a roofed veranda. A door to the right opens onto a small corridor and a steep service staircase that leads to the storerooms below. Next to it, there is a cupboard full of vases. 
and at the end of the corridor a storage room, also packed with vases, neatly placed on shelves, and a built bench with two jars at the other corner. us through to the main staircase so that we may leave without having to go back through the rooms we passed before. The staircase continues all the way up to the roof. For a house that had no courtyard, the flat roof was a valuable substitute and played an important role in everyday life.